Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Western Electric Rotary Dial Princess Telephone and Bell Box with the power supply. And this is John's equipment from MA and this is the initial checkout of this really cool telephone equipment and this telephone has been in John's family for a long time it's his grandmother's and he basically wants to have it repaired so that he can use it or display the telephone and we're going to be doing an LED light conversion for this unit now we know that the bell that's behind the telephone was an original type bell and transformer that they were using with the early model Princess telephones because this telephone does not have a bell inside the unit and it does not look like we're going to be able to install an aftermarket small bell on the inside there just is not enough room and the way they have positioned a circuit board for this unit you would have to remove that circuit board so that you could install a bell and we don't want to destroy any of the original parts of the telephone John does not want to use the bell that is with this telephone and connected to it so we will be removing the bell and using the original white line cord and installing a modular port adapter so that we can simply plug the telephone in to any modern jack. John says he probably will never use the bell, but since this telephone does not have a bell and we cannot install one on the inside, we're going to go ahead and go a step further. We're going to go ahead and install a modular line port for the bell so that it can be plugged in and used by the telephone if need be. Now we'll also be adding the LED light conversion and we're going to make the transformer plug and play. We will be installing a power point for the telephone so that you can simply plug the transformer into the unit. Now we also know that the rotary dial has a problem. It's very hard to dial and we want to troubleshoot that issue. We also want to go through the handset cord. We want to go through the transmit, the receive, the network, the hook switch, and take care of any issues that this telephone may have. We're going to go ahead and do some still pictures of this unit. We have a lot of work that needs to be done. We want to get a start on this telephone. We'll come back and get some more video as we move forward into troubleshooting and repairing of this really cool Western Electric Princess Telephone. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back.
Okay, we're back now and we're working on the rotary dial. Now we mentioned earlier in the video that there was an issue with the rotary dial and we want to go ahead and show you what the problem is. There's a cam in this area and basically this guide swings back and forth for the points. It's not supposed to turn all the way around. It's supposed to swing one way and then swing back when the dial returns. And we're going to go ahead and try to show you what it's doing. That's the resistance that we're getting. We'll try that one more time. Now this dial was not meant to be taken apart. All of the standoffs that hold everything together, all your gears and your clutch, is pressed on. So we're going to have to remove the upper plate and then make our repairs. So we'll go ahead and work on the rotary dial. We'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the troubleshooting and repairing of this really cool Western Electric Princess Rotary Telephone. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we are finished up with a repair and conversion of this really cool Western Electric Rotary Dial Princess Telephone and the original bell box that it came with, and we're ready to start our final checkout. Now, we're going to run through a little bit about what went on. We went ahead and made our repairs to the Princess Telephone and the LED light conversion. Now, John wasn't interested in the bell. He wasn't going to use it and he really didn't want it back. But it's probably better to keep the bell box with the telephone. And so I made it plug and play. So I converted the bell box to plug and play. It can be connected to the telephone or it can be disconnected and not used at all. This equipment has been together a long time and it was in his family. So I wanted to try to keep the two pieces of equipment together. Now we want to talk about the LED light. We have the power supply plugged in and it's plugged into the telephone and we do not have a lit dial at this time. There's an original switch at the back of the telephone and in one setting what happens is when you hang up the handset our LED light goes off. When we pick up the handset it will light. Then when you hang up the LED light goes off We want to go ahead and switch our switch and now the LED light stays on all the time so it can actually be used like a night light. Now I also want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkouts. It's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver. And I have an amplifier back by the video. It has a button on it. When I press the button, I can give dial tone or take it away at any time. And since it's an open amplifier, it is prone to any static interference 
or noise in the atmosphere. And I'm going to go ahead and press the button. You may hear a little bit of an electrical hum. I'm going to release it. Press it one more time. And release it. It is pretty quiet today. But if you hear any noise during the final checkout, it will be coming from the amplifier and not the telephone. Now what we want to do is use the analyzer and send a ring cycle like you were getting a call. So we'll start that. We're going to let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. We're going to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. We have a nice smooth return on our rotary now. I'm going to end in a two. Now I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. Go ahead and hang our handset up. Now that we know that the bell box is ringing in on a ring cycle, we're dialing out. We have transmit and receive. We can go ahead and press the button on the switch box. That gives us a line out, totally takes the analyzer out of the situation, and we can call a time and temp number. We'll go ahead and give you some dial tone. And we'll make that call. We're going to go ahead and hang up. We can call one other number. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. We'll make that call. Go ahead and hang our handset up. Now that we know that this really cool Western Electric rotary dial Princess telephone and original bell box has been repaired and converted, we can return it to John and they can enjoy this equipment. I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where it's used. These Princess telephones are highly sought after. They're very collectible and we get a lot of calls about this type of telephone. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair. A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.